In America, criticizing the government is a First Amendment privilege some people exercise for a living. It's Trump and the Republicans who are holding up a border deal. In countries like Russia, China, and Turkey, where oppressive regimes reign, criticizing the government can get you jailed or killed. But sometimes those foreign governments send their enforcers to the United States, hoping to silence their citizens living here and even Americans. It's called transnational repression, and it happened to former NBA first-round pick Enes Kanter Freedom after he criticized the Turkish government. Then I began to call out human rights violations by President Erdogan in my home country. The Turkish government asked the U.S. government to extradite me back to Turkey, cancel my passport, put my name on Interpol list, in imprison my father, and set thousands of dollars bounty on my head. Unfortunately, in some countries around the world, uh, freedom of expression, civil rights, civil liberties are backsliding, and um, we need to make sure that here in the United States we do what we can to protect people. The FBI defines transnational repression as when foreign governments stalk, intimidate, or assault people in the United States. It's a violation of U.S. law. China once opened up a secret police station in New York for that specific purpose. To emphasize how aggressive these governments can be, this is what Turkey did to the six foot five, 250 pound NBA center. In nine years, I received 12 arrest warrants and countless death threats. They tried to attack me in front of a mosque in Boston. They were on social media campaigns against me, so their fanatics could harass me or attack me when they see me. They pressure American universities, NGOs, and political groups to cancel their events with me. Transnational repression can take the form of hacking, assaults, attempted kidnapping, forced or coerced return to the country of origin, threats to detain family in home countries, and freezing financial assets. The typical targets are human rights activists, dissidents, political opponents, religious or ethnic minority groups, and journalists. A House Homeland Security subcommittee has three bipartisan bills to address this. The heart of the issue, again, lies at them thinking that they can threaten people, Americans, on American soil. This is a step in identifying and allowing these victims at least an outlet um, to, to feel protected, safe and secure. If signed into law, the legislation would create a dedicated office within the Department of Homeland Security to analyze, monitor and prevent transnational repression, establish a hotline, conduct a public service announcement campaign and develop a training program for state and local officials. We know that there are hundreds, if not thousands, of others who are being targeted, being threatened, but don't know where to go. Um, we also know that uh, this is happening under the noses of state and local law enforcement who just don't have the training to identify what's going on and know what to do about it. The bills still need to be approved in both chambers of Congress and signed by the president. The sponsors hope their bipartisanship will help get that done. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.